leaders. So, what's your favorite leader? Today, we're going to talk about who is our favorite leaders and their leadership styles. And then, we're going to link it with our own startup company, Mestic. Meet the first leader that we aspire to be like, Angela Merkel. Meet Angela Dorothea Kastner. Better known as Angela Merkel, she was born in Hamburg, Germany on July 17, 1954. She has a doctorate in physics and during her studies, she became involved in growing opposition movements against communism. In 1989, Merkel joined the newly formed Democratic Awakening Party. Later, she became a member of the Christian Democratic Union, CDU. In the year 2000, she was elected chairperson of CDU. Later, in 2005, Merkel made history by becoming Germany's first female chandler. Merkel's leadership style was characterized by pragmatism and cautious approach. Her leadership style was characterized by careful analysis, inclusiveness, and willingness to adapt to changing circumstances. Her leadership style was very democratic. She gained a reputation for being the mother of the nation and a very reliable leader. According to Federica Lalux, her leadership style falls under the teal stage. And the following leader that inspires us, Najib Bukele. Najib Armando Buklele Ortiz was born the 24th of July 1981 in San Salvador. He became president the 1st of June 2019 and became the 43rd president of El Salvador. B Najib Buklele studied law at the Central American University but was a dropout. His background is in business where he worked in the PR department of his father's businesses. From 2012 to 2015, Najib Buklele served as the mayor of Nuevo Cuscatlan. From 2015 to 2018, he served as mayor of San Salvador, the capital of El Salvador. In 2019, Buklele won the president, as I already mentioned, with 53% of the vote at the age of 37 years. Najib's leadership style characterizes as charismatic, populist and authoritarian leading. Buklele is also known for uh, his direct communication with citizens, tackling issues related to crime and confrontational towards political opponents or institutions. According to La Lux, Najib Buklele's leadership style leans at the teal stage of leadership. Some impressive achievements of, uh, of Najib Buklele include anti-corruption efforts where he created the International Commission Against Impunity, crime reduction initiative where crime dropped 50% in El Salvador, where it went from being the most dangerous country in Americas in 2018 to the safest in 2021, his quick and strict response to COVID-19, and also lastly, adoption of the Bitcoin as a local currency. Lastly, we're going to talk about Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln was born in 1808 in Kentucky, the United States. In his early life, he served the army, he worked on a boat, ran a store, and eventually decided to study law. He became the 16th president of the United States in 1861, being the first president from the Republican Party. He is best known for leading his country through the Civil War, as well as ending slavery in his uh, Confederate territory. His leadership style is best described as transformational because he was focusing on inspiring and empowering his followers. He was also seen as an empathic person and he was able to communicate clearly and listen to those opposite of his own beliefs. He was also known for making powerful and difficult decisions. Eventually, his leadership style helped unify the country. According to the Lalu, uh, Lincoln's uh, leadership style falls under the green stage. Unfortunately, his reign ended when Lincoln was assassinated in 1865. What all three leaders have in common is that they were all active in the political environment. Merkel was the Chancellor of Germany, whereas Bekele and Lincoln were both the presidents of their countries, making all three leaders the head of the federal government. Now you might be wondering, there are so many different leadership styles and so many different companies and organizations. What is the relation? Well. Different organizations and companies require different leadership styles. An example of this is Buklele and Merkel. Buklele became president of El Salvador during a crisis time, when crime was really high. This meant that his leadership style was really radical and drastic. When Merkel was president of Germany, she didn't have to have 
this of drastic and radical leadership style because Germany was not in a, such a bad place. So what is democratic leadership? Democratic leadership involves a shared decision making and a collaboration among team members. This is because at Mastic we prioritize teamwork, creativity, and innovation. On the other hand, we have transformational leadership. This involves inspiring and motivating team members to achieve a shared vision. And at Mastic, we do just that. We prioritize growth and innovation. Also, we aim to reduce plastic pollution. Therefore, together with our team, we want to achieve this goal. Based on the selection of leaders, Angela Marco, Nayib Bukele, and Abraham Lincoln, we could have concluded that we want our startup company to fall under the green and teal organizations according to Frederick Lelux. At Mastic, we stand for inclusivity and diversity. Our purpose is to not only make profit, but to also to have a positive impact on the environment and our society. Therefore, the green and teal style of leading is the type of leadership that we at Mastic strive for. Overall, the most effective leadership styles depend on the organization's goals, values, and culture, as well as the leader's personality, skills, and experience. A good leader is able to adapt their style to fit the needs of their organization and inspire their team to achieve success.